Good evening. Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School. Uh, been getting things done around here today, but we uh, have kind of shut down for the day. We've got another big storm coming in, and there's not a whole lot we can do at the moment. Uh, we've just been raining and raining, and everything's soggy and wet, so we're working in the barn and getting done what we can and getting stuff caught up with the horses, And and uh, but now we're shortly when the storm gets here we're going to be done for the evening so i wanted to go ahead and make a video uh, i've had a subject on my mind i haven't done a, a a philosophy video in a while a cigar talk and so i want to do that and uh, want to talk about a subject um, that's been running through my mind lately while i'm doing that i'm gonna do a different cigar uh, it actually if you haven't had these before there's a good chance it's a different type of cigar than what you're used to. Uh, Drew Estates puts out a cigar called a Kentucky Fire Cured. Uh, Muat, M-U-W-A-T, which stands for My Uzi Weighs a Ton. I have no idea where that came from. Uh, Drew Estate has his Kentucky Fire Cured. Now, most tobaccos, most cigar tobaccos are air cured. Um, but there has been a method of curing tobacco that's been around in Kentucky and Virginia and Tennessee for over 200 years. And uh, it's fire cured. There's old barns and the tobacco leaves are hung in the old barns and the barns are closed up. And they build a smoldering fire, a really smoky fire um, on, the, on the ground underneath. And the smoke uh, cures the leaves and then... Uh, and then that's used and so the leaves take on that flavor so these Kentucky fire cured are the filler they use um, Nicaraguan filler along with these Kentucky fire cured leaves fillers uh, with a San Andreas wrapper and it's extremely unique uh, it's not an infused cigar it's not a sweet cigar it's not a flavored cigar it just has a lot different uh, southern smoky flavor to it and I like them I really like them and uh, so I'm gonna have one of those today uh, if you are a pipe tobacco if you smoke a pipe and you've had like HH Mac Baron uh, dark fired Kentucky and you like that um, or something similar to that maybe cobblestone um, what is it cobblestone brickyard in some of those dark fired Kentuckys, you, you may like you may like this. Um, I, I want to address today. I get comments, and I get a lot of material for my thoughts and my talking from comments on the channel. Um, I get a lot of comments. Hmm. And uh, but there's a specific category of comment that I get that kind of troubles me uh, it has nothing to do with me it's not I don't take it personal against me but it's just a thought process that people have that bothers me um, so you take like the cooking videos I've gotten a l not a lot as in um, in relative to how many comments I've got but I've gotten a lot of comments people get on there and they're just just really snide and they're like I can't believe that you have to uh, I can't believe that you think that you have to teach something this basic and this simple uh, everybody knows this and it must be some kind of retarded fool that does not know how to cook a meal this simple um, and other comments on other videos I've done have been similar. Listen, we're all ignorant, okay? Some are ignorant and arrogant, and some are just ignorant. But we're all ignorant. We're ignorant about something. There's something out there that to somebody is everyday. It's regular. It's common. It's just as simple as breathing. But we've never experienced it. We've never been introduced to it. We don't know anything about it. And so us being ignorant, 
we don't have the right to take something that we do know about and throw stones at somebody else who don't know about it because they're ignorant. There's an old Persian proverb that says, He that knows not and knows not that he knows not is a fool. Shun him. He that knows not and knows that he knows not is teachable. Teach him. He that knows and knows not that he knows is asleep. Wake him up. And he that knows and knows that he knows is wise. Follow him. The worst people out there to deal with are the people who don't know something and they don't know that they don't know. There's things that we don't know. My horsemanship, I've been doing this for 30 years, my horsemanship has completely turned around in the last three to five years. It's completely changed because I realized that there was a lot of things that I didn't know. There was more things that I didn't know than there were that I did know. And until I realized that I didn't know, I couldn't learn. And I'm going to say it like this, okay? Uh, and this is going to sound kind of harsh to some people. But only a fool berates the ignorant. Regardless of what they're ignorant about, if you know something and you berate someone who's ignorant about that, you're not ignorant, you're a fool. Because you're ignorant about something. There's a big difference. There's a big difference between ignorant and stupid. Ignorant is untaught. Stupid is unteachable. And as long as you think you know what there is to know, you're not teachable about something else. And that's why we're tearing us, ourselves apart politically. People won't sit down and say, look, I don't understand where you're coming from on this. Let's talk. That's why people are killing each other over religion. They read in a book or they see a video or they meet one person of a religion and they say, well, that's what that person believes. But we're ignorant of that religion. We're ignorant of that belief. We're ignorant of how that person actually sees it. And we won't sit down and learn because we already know. The horse world is, is one of the worst worlds about that. I, you, you went to a seminar by... Pat Pirelli or Clinton Anderson and you read a couple books and you already know all there is to know and uh, and so when somebody else does something you stand up and berate their ignorance um, and so I guess what I'm doing is I'm berating us for berating other people's ignorance listen there are and I've said this before on other videos there are trainers out there um, there's there's an an older gentleman on YouTube, his name is uh, Dale Puckett, Pat and Dale Puckett, all right? Is that not right? Mama says that's not right. Pat and Deb, Pat Puckett, Pat and Deb Puckett, that's the guy I'm referring to. Listen, he's up here, all right? He's miles high. Um, these are the guys that I refer to quite a bit, Buck Brandeman, these guys, they're way up there. I'm teaching kindergarten and first grade. You didn't come out of your mama's womb knowing the ABCs. You didn't hit the ground knowing how to count one plus one is two. Somebody had to teach that to you. And it still has to be taught. It still has to be taught. And what aggravates me, I guess, right now is, is the attitudes that come across. And I don't want people who are just starting out, people who are 35 or 40 years old, who are just starting out coming on there and reading comments and listening to people who are mocking them and berating them and laughing at them because they don't know the most simple things. And so then they're afraid to ask and then they're not going to learn. I hope I don't get in trouble here. When my wife and I, when we met and first started dating and we got married, she didn't know how to cook. Why did she not know how to cook? Because her mama didn't teach her. 
her daddy didn't teach her. She didn't know how to do laundry. She didn't know how to balance a checkbook. She didn't know how to go buy groceries. Was that her fault? No, it wasn't her fault. She was untaught. And everything I showed her, she was she soaked it up like a sponge. She wanted to learn, but she wasn't taught. It's just like she's soaking up all this stuff, these videos I'm doing on, on the saddle and, and all this stuff. She wants to be taught. And there is no excuse for standing over someone who has not been taught with your hands on your hips and mocking them and laughing at them because you know something they don't know. That makes you a bully. And if there's anything that's going to cost me my calm, that's going to disturb my calm, it's a bully. Horses and people, it don't matter. Bullies are cowards. And I hate it with a purple passion. About the only thing I'll get on this channel and delete is rude, arrogant bullies and obscene sewer humor. I won't tolerate that. But I mean, there's people get on and say things that I don't agree with. People get on and say things that are just not right. But unless they get on there and they're um, obnoxious with their knowledge and everybody else is ignorant, I leave them alone. But if they're like that, I'll delete you in a heartbeat because uh, you disturb my calm and I don't like bullies. Okay? Now, this is a little bit more of a chew than I normally do online. Not in the habit of it. Don't want to get in the habit of it. But I think as sometimes as fellow people, there has to be somebody uh, who stands up and says, look, y'all ain't behaving right. Y'all ain't behaving right. And, uh, and it's what I do. So behave yourself. All right? Ease up. Don't be so blooming full of yourself. Don't be so arrogant. You don't know. And some of you don't know that you don't know. And that's even more unforgivable. Okay? So let's... If we don't have a nice world, it's because we're not nice people. So let's help those, whether it's cooking whether it's cigars, whether it's horses, whatever it is, let's help those who don't know. Let's bring them along with us and let's go on this journey of discovery together. All right? All right. Now, in the next video, I don't know what it's going to be on, but I promise it'll be a whole lot nicer than this one. Uh, and uh, I hope you all have a, have a, good, uh, have a good evening. And uh, I hope... I hope this rocks somebody back on their heels. I hope it does. I hope somebody says, you know what? I, uh, I need to adjust my approach to life and to my fellow man a little bit. All right? And if it does that, then it's good enough. All right? I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And I just want the best for you. And we'll catch you all next time.